Hi, I'm Willie Swallow, and I'm in Britain's extinct oral town of Ferris and Edmonds, asking people the question to answer the question, are we a nation of gibbering flap dribblers, or simply another squashed snail in the garden of life? Life's like a big bloody battery. It has a positive, it has a negative. On that highly charged vibrator, ramming myself up the money-stuffed orifice of mankind. Making them say, no! <laughs> no more, please! I've got work in the morning, goddammit! Well, I'm in Thetford. Can I help you? Can I help you? Yes. Do anything you like a bit cheap coming here? We are the Spank Monkey Show. And you're you, 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 you. Let's go. Right, my name's Brian. This is Fletcher Cameron. This is Gimp the Sound Man, and we're out doing a program, a little program that'll be on Channel 5. And one of the one as a tourist yourself, what do you think of Fetford? Oh, I've left. Any nightlife? I don't know, I haven't looked yet. <laughs> You've been down here long? No, I've arrived to start some a lot of What's life like up in Oxford then? Ripon. Ripon? Yes. Is that that's yeah. just near Hampshire? No, no, North Yorkshire. North Yorkshire, isn't it? Yeah. Near Lincolnshire? No, no, no way no. Is that. Is that Lincoln? Hemsby? Yeah. Um, would you say that, you know, you're quite in love with each other? Yeah, yeah. probably. How long have you been seeing each other? Two months, three months. Two months, something like Oh, that's nice. And, um, you know, what sort of thing do you do at night, you know, for a good time sort of thing? <laughs> <laughs> um, um, not a lot, really. Uh, I can relate to that. You have time for tea to mine, don't you? Yeah, Quite a lot. usually. Yeah. What do you have for tea? Whatever mum's cooking. <laughs> oh, you let your mum cook do all the cooking? Yeah. Right, so I've candlelit dinner by mum sort of thing? Yeah, sort of thing, yeah. That's the way of doing it. Does she do the washing up as well? No. No, we do it. Most of the time. Yeah. yeah. Oh, that's pretty sort of equal and spread out. Lovely day, isn't it? Nice, yes. Beautiful breasts. Creamy thighs. Mm. Should this be pushed into children's faces? No. No. But you'll be on the set, watching well, it, no, I won't eyes be watching popping it. out. No, I won't be you watching won't be watching it. it. So you'll have the TV off. I was wondering, do you think the environment issue has become unfashionable due to overexposure? Yes, I do. It tells a little bit, yes. Yes. Why do you think this? People don't wear the clothes they should do, do they? They don't wear the clothes. No, that's right, yeah. I mean, you know, if you had, like, control over things, what sort of clothes would you have people wear? Uh very difficult, isn't it? Yeah, I know it's a tough question, but we'd appreciate it if you can ask. Cotton. 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 You can trust in cotton, can't you? Yeah. I mean, nylon, if you burn it or whatever, it sort of shrivels up because it's plastic. Cause, um, rash on you. Yeah, it can cause rash, yeah. Was life better in the olden days than it is now, or is it a lot easier going? With the new better shape? in the olden days. Was it better in the olden days? No, no. A lot better? This is better. This is better now? As you guys living. I heard what I was talking about. Someone was talking to me about um, back in the olden days, you could you could leave your what shed in your garden. Oh, you could, oh, you could oh leave my! Your oh, door yeah, open. Yeah. I you, agree with that. You could leave your propulsion but, system on yeah, the table. You could leave everything. They wouldn't take your blueprint. They wouldn't do your thing. You could build whatever you wanted and you could, fly it. You could. Yes, and that was the yes, olden days. Yes, yes, yes. That is right. You're... That's... Well, when I was a boy, you could leave your front door, back door, up, yeah. anything else, and you'd walk in. Near one in the street, and all different now. You know, with a bleeding bolt in your door, they didn't get hold of that, no? It's a lot better back then than it is now. Well, I thought you meant as regards living, but you know. Could, oh no. Your, 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 your pocket, you know. Oh, oh, the pocket. Yeah. This yeah. jingle, jangle, yeah. money, cash. What yeah. people? There's more money now. Hang like themselves for. Yeah. A lot more now. Of course there is. But they're getting smaller. When I was a boy, there was no money about at all. Well, uh, no fear. What no. did you use to use for currency and, and stuff like that? What we used to use? Yeah, for currency. We, we, I don't know what we used then. What about, I've heard of buttons being used, zips, stuff like that, cigarettes? Yeah. Uh, but, 
my name's Willie Swallow. Do you think I could ask you a few questions, please? Yeah? Right, um, do you feel threatened when you encounter, um, youths? On the street. I'm all right when I'm up in town. Yeah? You're all right, yeah? Do you know the streets sort of thing? I know the town all right, yeah. yeah how long have you lived in Burris and Edmonds? Oh, long while. Long while? I've been there over 17 years. 17 years? That's impressive. You've got an impressive array of roaches there as well. Roaches, rather. Um, if someone came up to you and offered you heroin, would you report them to the police? I would. Yeah? Why would you report them to the police? Dangerous. You never know. Dangerous drug. It's a dangerous drug, isn't it? Makes your head explode, doesn't it? You do that, do make your drug explode, too. You got... Yeah, and your veins will ripple up, don't they, and sort of start bleeding. Yeah. yeah. You interviewed you once already. No. I'm not. You look familiar, <laughs> sir. You yeah, look well. like someone I've never met before. And, um, what I'd ask you about... Drugs. Yeah. But, you say, thinking, illegal? No, the legal drugs. Such as? Such as? I take medicine. What, what would you label a drug? Well, I, I, I assume that uh, most drugs are medicine. Legal or illegal? Ah, no. Not illegal drugs. They're not not illegal drugs? No. So, you take the word legal, you put an I in front of it, and it can make something a medicine or something bad. That's right. Yeah, I accept that. You accept that? Uh -huh. So you'd never partake in the partakingness of taking illegal drugs? No way. I'm glad they weren't about when I was a lad. <laughs> they were? Well, if they were, they certainly weren't as common as they are today. Do you think you could recognise someone off their trolley on a bender? No, I don't really. I, I, I wouldn't say I could because uh, it could be under the influence of alcohol. Could be drunk, which is yeah. a drug. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So if you were... Do you think you could recognise someone off their loony rocker if you were stalk talking to them in the street? Maybe, you know, and someone just come up to you and started spitting rubbish at you, would you... would you... Not, no. Not necessarily. They might be mentally deficient. True. They could be absolutely brain dead. Exactly. They could be off their flipping nodger. Exactly. They could be absolutely insanely <laughs> stupid. How long have you had a kid then? Two years. Two years. Is that how old she is? Yes. I suppose, but she was in use for nine months. So actually, she's two years and nine months. <laughs> yeah. Right, so you're lying to us. <laughs> yes, I am. Do you lie regularly then? <laughs> oh, yes. Do you really? So you could be lying now that you're saying that you're lying? <laughs> yes. Do you import heroin from abroad? No. You don't? But you could be lying as well there, couldn't you? Could be, yes. All right, so you like playing mind games then? <laughs> no. Oh, you don't? Right, okay. Have you got anything to say? <laughs> That's what most people say, yeah. All right, thanks a lot, all right? Take care. A few questions on the Spice Girls. On who? Spice Girls. Which one do you want, Jim? <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> do you like them? No. no. Do you eat it? Not like no. them. No. Nothing binge in that you know, I'll keep the beef. <clears throat> do you get the craving for beef? Curtains and stuff, you got a nibble, haven't you? <laughs> Disgrace. If they found a maggot in it now, they'd... Bag it up, yeah. put it on the shelf, oh, yeah. set up for three pound twenty nine in Dewhurst over there, and people be munching. Yeah, as opposed to a conservative, you're more of a sort of Labour man, are you? Um, well, I'm not saying what I'm, what I am, and what I no, am. No, that's fair enough. I can respect that, sir. Yeah. Um, where do you think Britain will be in ten years' time? Uh, I haven't given that a lot of thought, really. Well, I always thought it'd be underwater due to the ice caps melting. Ask a few questions about the Spice Girls. I think you're asking the wrong, wrong one, Do you like them, then? <laughs> Not particularly, no. Right. What do you got against them? I've got one. I just don't like them, full stop. Not even as creative artists? No. What about you, sir? They're all right. They're all right. What do you like, sir? It's them, not songs. You like the bodies? Yeah. yeah. You like the things they wear? Yeah. The smooth thighs, mm. creamy curves. That's the sort of thing that you like to see on TV, yes, sir? Yeah. You got all their records? Yeah, I went to see them three, four weeks ago. What, oh, Norwich? Yes. Oh, I was there. Oh, yeah. Absolutely rocking Brilliant. my nut off, madam. Brilliant. It was a party. Yeah. It's a party of century. What about you, sir? Do you like the Spice Girls? You're right. 